Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I am so excited that you are here. I want you to succeed in the Phoenix's Rising Challenge. Please remember to come with good intention, an open mind and a positive mindset. This program will push you outside of your comfort zone and most definitely also challenge your ego. And it's your choice which option you will go for. Do you prefer to stay in your comfort zone, um, complain about your life and let your ego control you or step outside of your comfort zone live your life on your terms and embrace your awakening process. It's your choice. We have free will. <clears throat> However, if you choose to take a step in the right direction, I'm here to guide you throughout your awakening process to make it easier for you. I want you to acknowledge that you are here for a reason. Something within you brought you here as we are all energetically connected, I know that there is no coincidence that you are here. And please make sure uh, you remember this fact as your ego will challenge you. Um, I have uh, helped people, many, many people, to wake up to their gifts and their life purposes. And I can do the same for you. The globe well, you know, awakening has started. More and more people are asking about their life purpose. And most of the light workers have been called to action. I will go in more details about the light workers and their purposes on day three of the challenge. You might know we are moving into the fifth dimension. Energies are shifting. And as a result, some people are feeling lost. Some people are feeling anxious and fearful. And what is it for you? I mean, I certainly know that I'm being called to action to wake up and heal the light workers and get them to remember their mission and support the planet. If we remember it, I call this challenge Phoenix is Rising. As you might know, the Phoenix is a mythical bird that dies and is reborn again and again from the ashes. And um, for me, it represents, you know, overcoming darkness and rising to any challenges that become more powerful. This reminds me of the light workers. And I want to rise the phoenix within you. It is ready. It's, it's time for you to shine now. You know, we light workers uh, continue to go through the cycle of transformation, death, rebirth, by rising from the ashes through the fire, just like legendary bird, the phoenix. Unfortunately, our journey is much more complicated and harder than others. And I am here to remind you who you truly are and help you rise from those ashes. I've been to hell and come back from the hell. And I know how to rise from the ashes. Remember that we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. It's very important. If you are looking to find yourself, you must look beyond the body and let go of your human experience to make room for your real powerful self to appear. And if you are ready to be reborn from the ashes and transform yourself, be ready to let go of those old stories, and the blocks, the traumas, fears that come with your human experience. You might feel resistance to leave this you know, life experience and your ego behind. It is very, very normal. It's unknown. It's scary, you know. Well, I want to try something. Now, I want you to tune into yourself and close your eyes. And as I work with the subconscious mind, I don't want you to analyze anything that I ask you, you know, to do. Just go with the first answer that comes to you and ask yourself now, what is it one thing that holds you back in life from moving forward? Is there a worry? Is there a fear? 
low self-esteem, self-sabotage, what is it? Identify it and make a note of it. And feel free to share it in the comment section below. We will look at your subconscious programming to get a better understanding of yourself, your behaviors and your current reality. Also how to use our beliefs and thought process to change your reality and create a life of your dreams. It's very important. Our subconscious mind gets most of its programming up to the age of seven years old. As a child, we almost accept everything. We don't question it. And 95% of the time, all of us are on autopilot. We are sleepwalking. You think you, are, you think you are making a decision, but you don't. We are like program robots. Only 5% of the time you are active. And we don't question it. It is what it is. Think about it. Even, you know, driving a car and all your bodily function, it just happens. Okay, let me give you another example. Who remembers about Santa Claus being real? And believe it as a fact until someone told us the truth about Santa Claus. This realization changes our reality completely. And there's no filtering system until this age. So even when our parents or anybody else say no to us, or even you know they voice to us, uh, we don't get the meaning behind it or understand their intention. You know, um, when somebody says no to us, for a very good reason, we might take it as we are not good enough. We are not valuable. We are not lovable. We have been brainwashed into believing all these negative statements about ourselves. Ah, we take them as fact. Yes, I'm not lovable. It runs at the background. Humans are meaning-making machines. Most of the things that have been taught to us have significant impact on our current reality, beliefs and thought process. Once we take these negative beliefs on board, our subconscious mind runs the programming in the background to note that, you know, our wishes are his or her commands. I see this pattern with my clients over and over again. And there is no, you know, conscious acknowledgement of it until they start working with me. I always address the core issues, the set them free, not the symptoms. Very important. A human experience happens when our values, beliefs, and right uh, life experiences get together. And uh, we finally decided to create a story about ourselves, our life, our reality. Has that happened to you? <laughs> and those stories shapes you and shapes your reality. Even though, you know, I'm not going to deny these experiences are so valuable for our soul. If they are holding you back and making you suffer in this lifetime, it means they are no longer serving you. It is time to understand these are just part of your human experience and they should not have any power over you. You are a so powerful spiritual being. You're just sleeping. You're not aware of it. You're on autopilot, 95% of the time. Once you shift your opinion about your limiting beliefs, about yourself, about life, about humanity, everything, your reality will change for the better. I look at it this way. If you want to build a strong, long-lasting house, you will need a strong foundation. If your house is built with bricks, they are written, I'm not good enough, you know, I'm not good enough, I'm not valuable, I don't deserve love, and have cracked throughout them, how strong your house will be? How strong your foundation will be? How can they handle life? Our foundations have been created in our childhood without any filters, and we have, um, we have deeply, you know, engraved into these bricks and um, 
we don't even notice those beliefs. <clears throat> if our foundation is not solid, um, let's say it is full of traumas, fears, again, limiting beliefs, all these blocks, how does it show in your life? So you might be thinking, okay, oh, maybe I don't have that. Okay, I will tell you how it shows in your life. Self-doubt, procrastination, anxiety, stress, depression, self-sabotage, panic attacks, chronic illness, you name it. So if you experience any of that, you need to look at your foundation, your subconscious programming. I want you to overcome these symptoms. So what do you need to do? You work on you. It's always the internal work. It is the foundation that will give you the desired results that you need. So we need to rebuild our foundation with our newly learned, <clears throat> empowered beliefs about ourselves, not the ones that we have been brought up on which have negatively impacted you know, our lives and emotional well-being. Subconscious mind represents around 90% of your total brain function. And we will work with the subconscious mind to deep dive into your foundation to identify your subconscious breaks to see how strong your foundation is. So, are you ready to deep dive in? Okay, let's do a little process together. I want you to imagine this person in front of you. They look like you, they act like you, they walk like you, but they are not you. You might want to close your eyes as well. Just close your eyes, you know. Just feel this person. Look at this person in front of you. You might sense it. You don't have to see it exactly. It depends on your abilities. I want you to just observe them. Do they look happy? Are they standing tall? Do they look tired? Notice everything about this person. Do they have any invisible baggages that they're carrying? Have a look at it. Yeah? Now... You're observing this person, you're looking at this person that looks like you, acts like you, talks like you, but not you. I want you to notice what do they need to believe about themselves They attract these adverse, these negative events to themselves. Second question, what kind of challenging and recurring events keep happening in this person's life? Is something keep happening? Um, it might be maybe, you know, they're not able to make friends, they're not able to um, have a relationship or they're not able to succeed in their um, marriage or in their business. And you say, what is the recurring event since their childhoods keep happening over and over again? Next question. What is their biggest fear? And where is this fear coming from? Now, turn your attention to yourself and ask the same questions to yourself and write the answers into your workbook. This is very important. Please do not miss this part, okay? This is very, very important, this step. And how long are you going to let fear hold you back? How long are you going to let your stories and your ego keep you captive? in your own inflicted prison. If not now, when? We're almost about to go into 2021. And what kind of insight did you have about yourself from this little exercise that we did? Write all this down. It will be extremely helpful for you to look deeper. It might be scary, but helpful. Awareness is the first step to break free from pain, fears, and stories. And I will go deeper tomorrow. And do not miss tomorrow's sessions. This is life-changing stuff. I wish I knew this years ago. It took me years and years and years of studies, reading books, attending seminars, workshops, to put the pieces together. And I'm teaching you the whole picture. How can you be a spiritual light being when all these traumas, blocks, resistance and fears are holding you back and keeping you captive in that fear zone? Okay. I want you to really start thinking about this. 
please complete task one and post it underneath the homework post. And also please post your aha moments and your breakthroughs under my aha moments post to collect points for the prize draw. We got a prize draw on Thursday. So I want you, um, the more the points you collect, you get more entries. And um, remember, tomorrow I have planned an excellent um, session for you. I want to remind. Uh, I want to. I want to remind you of who you truly are and what is possible for you. And before I say goodbye, I hope you enjoyed today's session. It was useful for you. And let me know. And oh, please, 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 always be supportive of each other. And remember that we are stronger together. And have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you 7 p.m. in the Facebook group again. Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day.